Hey there, hi there, hello there, internet dwellers, and welcome to another episode of the GC Informer. I'm your host, Orange Lightning, bringing you the Saturday news, so let's do this. Steam sales! Love them or hate them? Well, probably mainly love them for the cheap games and then slowly cry into your empty wallet. But they are, of course, returning as the next three sales dates have actually now been leaked. Yes, we now know when Halloween, Black Friday and the winter sales are due to run, so I suggest set up where your biggest patches of money shall sit because you're going to need them. So thanks to those guys over at Reddit, we now know that the Halloween dates will run from the 26th of October, so in a few days time, <laughs> until the 1st of November sure to be some spooky games in there I would hope so if you were looking for some more fodder for your streams or channel or whatever there should be plenty there. The Black Friday sale will be running from the 22nd of November to the 28th of November so hold on to your payday cash from October if you can and the winter sale will be running from the 21st of December to the 4th of January so if you are one who gets money for Christmas well I think you know where it's going so still on the subject of Steam something interesting happened uh, rather recently in the fact that the Steam link at its normal price tag of £40, and now you can get it for 80p. Yes, it is currently available in a bundle with the game Icy, a 2D side-scrolling action game with some definite links to games such as The Stanley Parable with some interesting narrative choices. Not played it myself, but it is actually on my wish list. But Icy is currently on sale for £6.29, and you can get the bundle where you pay £7.09 to also get the Steam link. It's a little bit odd, I'm not sure if this was meant to happen, but we're going with it. However, there is the slight sting in that you will need to pay for the Steam link's postage, so it does go up a bit. But even so, it's quite quite a drop from the usual £39.99 price tag on the Steam link. So if you've been looking for one, definitely now is the time to get it. Want to earn some money from your streaming, but not too sure or clear on what the path is to become a Twitch partner or affiliate? Well, your questions have now been answered because as TwitchCon 2017 has come fully underway, marketing manager Ryan Bulk has come forward to discuss the new roadmap for becoming a Twitch partner and it's now going to be achievement based. This will offer a set of milestones for streamers to achieve to set you on your journey to becoming a Twitch partner. I like this, this sounds like a really fun idea. Um, I've always been an achievement trophy fan, so win-win. And apparently if you do follow this path or this route, you will be guaranteed to be offered a spot. This is the promise that has been made. So I guess all that remains is to get it up and running and see how it works. Along with this they've also announced rituals which is a not kind of scary term but apparently it's um, a way to get new viewers more involved in the chat. If you ever have been lingering around the channel and wanted to get more involved in the chat but were too frightened because there were maybe a lot of people who need, seem to know each other already, the ritual will give you an opportunity to let Twitch do the introducing for you. Sounds like an interesting premise and I look forward to see how it works. I myself am quite quiet in other people's streams so I might find it useful. And finally they are also introducing a raid. This one is a bit odd. Um, I can see why it's there though. The raid gives you the chance as the streamer to whisk yourself and your viewers away to someone else's stream. So you in effect are raiding someone else's stream. But I don't know, in gaming terms, raid has always kind of been used as a sort of attack sort of thing. So there are obviously concerns already from people about raids being used as an abusive thing. Hopefully Twitch are aware of this though and have thought of something. Perhaps this will make it easier to keep track of people jumping from stream to stream. But we shall see. We shall see. Twitch is evolving and it's very interesting to see 
um, and I look forward to these new things being tried out. So something else that happened at TwitchCon as well is that Bungie came on to talk more about Destiny 2's seasons. So a few days before the PC release is due to hit, they have opted to discuss more about what the seasons mean and what they're going to bring to Destiny 2. So Bungie have talked about the four seasons that are going to be coming for the first year of Destiny 2 and that they're basically going to work around things like clans getting shared perks, uh, weekly challenges and an opportunity for them to fine-tune and patch up the gameplay itself and make sure all those balances that they promised are still in place. But what is quite exciting, I think, is that each of these seasons is going to give new themes for the players as well and that in these seasons there will be major events. So one of the upcoming events is called The Dawning an in-game holiday that celebrates the arrival of the Traveller. So there's going to be lots of icy themes around, there will be snowballs, ice hockey, all going on. This has started to sound like things like Final Fantasy XIV where they have special seasonal events going on. And to be honest, I really enjoy that. So this could be something really cool that Destiny brings in. Hopefully it's not quite just gimmicky and it actually has a bit of fun to it. but. But in case you are wondering, apparently the snowballs will actually do damage, so you can actually use them out in the field as well. Come on, who doesn't want to do that? On the back of this as well, a positive thing is that Bungie have taken into consideration the feedback from the recent Iron Banner PvP, as players were not a fan of the token system, so they have announced now that to buy the special loot and gear from each of the seasons you will now be able to use tokens and legendary shards that can be earned throughout the actual gameplay of Destiny. I just got Destiny 2 so I'm looking forward to jumping into it and I'm quite interested in these seasons. And finally a little one for the end of this news episode. RPG maker developer Dejica are releasing their latest project in just a few short weeks. Yes, November 16th sees Visual Novel Maker coming to Steam. If there wasn't a big enough influx of visual novel games out there, oh, be ready for more. Yes, this will contain a multitude of tools, free assets for everyone to use to create the visual novels that have been haunting your mind <laughs> or maybe just some cruel horrible story that you just want to inflict on your friends who knows it's no secret that visual novels have become super popular inspired by the anime art style from japan so I think pretty much everyone, unless you're really anti them, has come across or at least played one by now. This could throw up some really interesting ideas and themes, but it's probably also going to have a truckload of other stuff with it as well. Be prepared for all sorts, but you know, if you are really into your visual novels, well, this could be like your Christmas! And that is all from me here today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below, let us know what you think of these stories. Have you got a visual novel idea? And if you would like to see more from us here at Gamecast, please subscribe and stay with us for more awesome gaming content. If you want to see more from me, you can find me on YouTube and Twitch under Orange Lightning Playzone and Twitter under Orange Light PC. So, as always, take care for now. 